Good morning again, and welcome to the 2022 Alabama College Application Campaign webinar. Your presenters today, I'm Sandra Jackson with Alabama Possible. We have Dr. Monica Matt. We are the presenters. We're also joined by Mae Whiting, who's going to help us navigate the slides, and Manisha Mizra, who will facilitate the Q&A near the end. We're also joined by Chandra Scott, who is the executive director of Alabama Possible. So thank you all for joining us. Let's get started. As always, thank you to our sponsors who helped to make this work possible. And also uh, thank you to our partners, the Alabama Commission on Higher Ed, the Alabama Community College System, Alabama State Department of Education and Get Educated, who are an integral part of the work that we do as well. So a few housekeeping notes. Please remember to keep your microphones on mute at all times in order to avoid feedback during the presentation. Uh, we are recording this webinar and it will be posted on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Alabama Possible. You can submit your questions throughout the webinar using the chat feature. And as mentioned earlier, those will be addressed near the end with um, Ms. Mishra facilitating. We have a couple of poll questions that we would like for you all to answer. Uh, we will be offering professional development credit, but in order to get the professional development credit, you will need to answer those questions. Um, and those polls will be near the end of the presentation. So we invite you to share your commitment to, a build, to building a college going culture on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, any posts that you make, we ask that you tag us using um, AL Goes to College and Alabama Achieves for the State Department. So it's still not too late to register for our Alabama Goes to College campaign. Um, you can register your high school at alabamapossible.org slash register 2022-23. And we only need one person per school to register. And also at that link, you can check to make sure that your school is not registered. And feel free to share this link with colleagues at other schools or friends that you know who may be at other schools um, and their school has not registered yet. So our Alabama Goes to College campaign consists of three components. We have our Cash for College, which focuses on FAFSA completion for graduating seniors to access financial aid. We also, the second component is the Alabama College Application Week, which is primarily to assist students in navigating the complex college applications and admissions process. It's part of a national effort to ensure that graduating seniors complete at least one college application, uh, particularly for first, gen, first generation and low income students. The third component of the campaign is the College and Career Decision Day. And College and Career Decision Day is used to celebrate the decisions that those students have made in reference to their post-secondary um, after high school decisions, whether it's going to college, the military, uh, getting some type of credential or getting a skilled trade. We want to celebrate those, um, those students. Today's webinar, however, is going to focus on the Alabama College Application Week, which is the second component of the Alabama Goes to College campaign. So our learning objectives for today is to um, describe the American College Application Campaign, explain the Alabama College Application Campaign, also share uh, some why apply day activities and define the School of Excellence Award. And we're also gonna outline steps to host the Alabama College Application Week. Why does this matter? As of 2021, only 45.7% of the Alabama workforce had high credentials beyond a high school diploma. And that's up um, 
seven tenths of a percent from uh, 2018. So with that, the governor launched the Success Plus initiative with the goal to add over 500,000 highly skilled workers with those valuable credentials to the workforce by 2025. And now I will turn it over to Dr. Mack, who will detail some of the components of the College Application Week campaign. Good morning. Um, the American College Application Campaign, this is our national campaign. And the main focus of this is to focus on an increase in the number of first-generation college students and those from low-income families who are pursuing a college degree or higher education credential. And as Sandra stated, um, our goal for our Alabama College Application Campaign is to make sure that they submit one application to a post-secondary institution. So as you all are working with your seniors, please make sure that everyone submits at least one application. As I mentioned earlier, um, Why Apply Day was celebrated on September the 16th, and it signifies the official college application season kickoff. It's sponsored by the American College Application Campaign. And what happened during that day is educators took pictures wearing college gear and holding a Why Apply banner as to why it's important to apply to college, which was written on those banners. They shared the, that information on social media using the hashtag Why Apply. Some schools even posted videos um, for their Why Apply celebration. Schools were encouraged to tag us using the hashtag ALGoesToCollege to be entered in a raffle to win a gift card. And so we, um, the schools that did uh, tag Alabama Goes to College, they were pulled and entered into a raffle. And I am happy to congratulate Wetumpka High School. They were the winners of the raffle and they will receive a $25 gift card for um, their efforts in the Why Apply Day celebration. So I will turn it back over to Dr. Mack for additional details. Thank you. Our School of Excellence Award is one that is sponsored by the American College Application Campaign. And each year we select one high school in Alabama to receive this award. So in addition to the criteria, um, listed. We also um, look at their uh, financial aid completion, uh, photos, videos that they've shared regarding the campaign. We want to make sure that they have submitted their data and then also how they collaborate with stakeholders. All of that um, is included as we make our decision. This year, our campaign will be held October 17th through the 21st um, of 2022. And we have listed a tentative list of those colleges and universities that have agreed to participate this year. Currently, we have 58 schools that have agreed to waive their application fee. A week prior to our event, we will send out a detailed list with uh, waiver codes along with special instructions from our colleges and universities. Another aspect of our campaign is our data collection. So at the end of our campaign, we ask that you all will submit the following information, the total number of seniors currently enrolled in your high school, the total number of seniors participating in your college campaign, and then the total number of applications submitted. And to assist you with this um, activity, we have included a template where your students can complete this information to make it easier for you to collect this data. So students will include their name, the total number of colleges where they have applied, and then they can also let us know if they registered for their FSA ID during this event or prior to. So I'm going to highlight uh, some of the resources that are available 
for you all in implementing your um, college application week activities. Um, these include educator as well as student resources. And our first resource will be the site coordinator handbook. So this is the Alabama College Application Campaign um, Site Coordinator Manual, and this was compiled and um, published by the State Department of Education. And in it, if you just uh, just kind of scrolling through, um, there are a lot of resources that are available. Um, Dr. Mack mentioned the, the student sign out sheet that's contained in here. We also have a timeline that's listed and it goes from uh, week eight out all the way down to week number one. So it gives you information on um, suggested activities to take you from the uh, week eight all the way down to uh, the week of the event. And also there's also a checklist, a site coordinator checklist. So um, it gives you the pre-event preparation, first steps, communication activities, um, how to prepare your students for the event, all that's in your site coordinator resource manual. It also lists student instructions and at the end of the manual, there are several resource materials um, this will help you with your uh, volunteers when you're planning your committee. Um, it suggests potential partners that you can reach out to to uh, help you with this event. And this is the, um, the form that Dr. Mack mentioned for the students to sign in. Uh, there's also a letter that you can download and send to students and families that details the event. And just, um, this is a proclamation that you can send to the mayor's office in your city and ask them to, um, to proclaim October 17th through the 21st as Alabama College Application Week. And that um, all you would have to do is download the information and fill out the, the part that's germane to your uh, particular area. There's a community information sample letter as well. And May, if you'll show them how to download, just go over to the file and hit download. And it gives you the options of how you want to download the manual, whether it's uh, Microsoft Word, which would be easier to um, manipulate uh, to make the changes for your area. Next, we have a one pager, which is um, it's um, used. You can use it to announce college application week, and this can be printed out and posted uh, throughout the school so that um, everyone will know that this is college application week, and um, you'll be gearing up a lot of activities during that time frame. We also have. Um, some sample activities that have been done in the year past. Um, there are banners that can be printed out, uh, bulletin boards, you can make bulletin boards just to bring awareness to the college application process. And um, then students can sign and put information on the bulletin board after they complete their college applications. So next we have our planning folder. So under the um, strategies to get people excited, um, this is just the list of activities that, uh, that you can use, talking about it, start talking about it, sharing with the community, getting community support, business support, 
And there's a list of 10 things that you can, um, can go through and look at to give you some ideas of uh, different activities that you can do to get um, your area, your community excited about uh, college application week um, activities. And next we have the timeline for a campaign implementation. Now this is um, also part of the site coordinator manual, but this is this was just pulled out so that you can pull it up and print it out if you don't want to print the entire manual. Um, and it go it does the eight week timeline for the um, campaign event. And then this is just the student sign-in sheet. This is just the, in a separate file again. Um, it gives you the opportunity to just download this one, um, one file and print it out to be used at your, um, at your events. So next is our print assets. So in the print assets folder, we have a banner, um, Alabama College Application Week banner, and this can be uh, downloaded and printed out to post in your school, um, the classrooms, hallways, um, et cetera. So this is your I applied uh, the media campaign. Um, there's also a banner once the students have completed their applications. They can print this out, um, put whatever they want, write whatever they want on it, take selfies and post it on social media as a way to celebrate the completion of their applications. And in this folder, there are also instructions for the selfie. Next, we have our digital assets folder. We have our senior checklist. And this is just a list of things that the seniors need to complete, uh, not necessarily in the order that they need to be completed, but um, they need to make sure that these things are completed. So next we have the reasons to go to college. And so these are reasons to go to college. Students will be able to develop lifetime relationships, um, people to network with, even people to partner with. For those who have that entrepreneurial spirit, they may meet uh, people in college that can help them develop that spirit, spirit and also to um, move forward with business opportunities. So um, that will give them the opportunity to learn those skills and develop those relationships. Next, deciding where to go to college. And this may be one of the biggest challenges. And these are some suggestions, um, categorize, categorize the schools that they may be interested in, plan campus visits and, and planning those campus visits. There may be some schools that they're interested in that are far off so they can do virtual visits, um, join, alumni and current student groups. Now, social media is good to get information, um, but if, if they know someone who actually went to a school that they are interested in going, uh, personal conversations would be good to have with the people who actually attended those schools. Things to consider when choosing a school and this is this is very important uh, from personal experience. <laughs> I can attest to that. Um, so things to consider would be the cost of attendance and locations, the majors and programs offered, and the campus life. Um, in reference to the location, uh, just a short personal story. When I was looking at colleges, um, I applied to Alabama A&M, which was, I'm not sure why that, why I was drawn to Alabama A&M. It may have been the fact that it was this, you know, this gorgeous campus up on top of this hill. And I thought it was, you know, uh, really cool to go there. And so I applied um, to all my information, uh, ready to go, packed, ready to leave that Sunday. 
the Friday before the Sunday I was set to leave, I decided that Huntsville, Alabama was too far from Clark County. And so I changed my mind and I didn't go to a and M. I I ended up going to Selma and then later transferring to Alabama State. So I decided that being only two, two and a half hours away from home was much better than being maybe five or six hours away from home. So that's my story. And that's why it's, it's really good to consider uh, to make sure that the students take into consideration um, all the aspects of um, when looking at choosing a college. So next we want to make sure that their applications stand out, um, do a social media check. Uh, students should be now being cognizant of what they post on social media because just as uh, employers look at social media, the colleges look at social media, uh, showcase interests outside of schools and extracurricular, uh, community service projects, um, jobs, things of that nature would be good to, to put on college applications. And when you're looking, when they're looking for recommendations, make sure that they consider those closely and um, get those from the teachers that, that really know them. So I would all those, even though this, this says digital assets, um, I would also put these under print because all of these can be printed out and placed on a bulletin board as a reminder to seniors that these are things that they need to, um, to be aware of, to start looking at. But also it will serve as a reminder for the lower grade level students who, um, who are coming up they will start to, to look at this information and, and hopefully start thinking about uh, their post high school plans. So next we'll look at some student resources. And we have our student and family's guidebook. And to get to that, you would go to programs, Alabama goes to college for students and then click on the student guidebook. And just kind of scrolling through the student guidebook, you can see that there, um, there's a lot of information. It talks about the Alabama Goes to College campaign, what it's all about. Um, there's also information on a senior year timeline, which would be good for the students to have to know um, at what point during the school year they should have what information completed um, and what they should be looking for in the upcoming months. And we have some myths about um, FAFSA, well, just information for the students, um, information on scholarships, Alabama College Application Week. And then it talks about choosing the right school again, um, what to look for in choosing the right school. Next, we have um, the American College Application Campaign also has um, resources for educators and students. But just to give you a little idea of some of the the information that's obtained for our students. Um, you see the, the links here, 10 steps for applying to, to college for students. The college application fee waiver link will give information. And this information is also in the site coordinator manual. Um, it just gives you information about who, um, who accept fee waivers, um, who's eligible, what, what waivers are available. And also if possible, um, it would be helpful if the students could secure these fee waivers before the summer, because sometimes if they wait till the, till the summer, it may be a little, uh, a little difficult to get that information in. So just to make sure that they have that done before um, the summer. But these are additional resources that are available to um, the educators and the students as in preparation for college application week. 
Another resource that we have for our students is the help desk. And so this, um, this is our help desk and students as well as um, counselors, parents, career coaches, um, this is where students can call in to get information, whether it's help with FAFSA or other questions that we may be able to answer. Um, they can just call us at the number that's listed, 334-316-6155, or um, they can email us at ALGOES, ALGOES to college at alabamapossible.org. So another resource for students is, I know some students may want to go ahead and submit applications prior to um, college application week. And the Common Black College application is a platform where students can apply to HBCUs, um, over 65 HBCUs at for the cost of like $20. But because Alabama Possible has partnered with Re the Regions Foundation, Alabama students can apply to these HBCUs at no cost to the students. Um, this is strictly for Alabama students. However, they can apply to any HBCU that's uh, part of the platform across the country. And the students, in order to do that, they would need to obtain the code. The code is listed here but this flyer is in the um, educator's toolkit under Alabama Goes to College general folder. So they will get the code and put it in the promo code section during the application process on the CBCA site. So now at this time, I will turn it over to Manisha for questions. Hello everyone, um, good morning. Uh, the first question was, will we be receiving the I Applied pins or stickers this year? And uh, Dr. Mack mentioned that, no, the pins and stickers were not ordered this year. The second question was, can we get a sticker template to make our own? Yes, the sticker template is on the Google Drive um, and it's in, the, it's in one of those folders. Can we pull that up? So these are on the, the Google Drive. In the print assets folder. If we don't have the uh, template, but we can always uh, add the template uh, on our on the Google Drive. That wouldn't be um, an issue. Next question is, um, is there a list of schools that are participating. There is a list of schools which were shared in the presentation and uh, Dr. Mack put a link um, on the chat. Um, the other thing is Wallace State Community College Selma is also participating. So they'll be added uh, to that list. The fourth question is how do I access the resources drive? And I think um, May, she has added the link to chat. Yes, she has. So um, those were the only questions. Anybody else has any question? And we'll also have the links to the resources in the follow-up email. So they'll have access to that. That is it. Okay, thank you, Manisha. Mm -hmm. And now we'll have a quick survey. Now, this is the survey that we need you to complete in order to get your professional development credit. Okay. Thank you all so much for participating, for your feedback. Um, this will help us to provide more relevant resources. So our next um, upcoming webinars are listed here on the screen. So we ask that you save the dates or put the dates on your calendar. Um, for our Friday, September the 23rd webinar, these are uh, for the, our CBOs, community-based organizations, um, any educators who want to attend, you're more than welcome. Um, but our, we also ask that you participate in the September 28th and the, the 29th, because those will have information that may be more helpful um, to you but please feel free to join us for the CBOs and also help spread the word if you have 
um, friends or other colleagues who are part of community-based community -based organizations. So as mentioned before, the professional development is available for this webinar. Make sure that you have registered through PowerSchool. If you're not sure how to register, there's a link that's provided and it will be posted in the chat that will give you step-by-step -step, uh, guide to registration. Uh, when you do register, use the course number 295839, section number 453841. And finally, in closing, please stay connected through our website, phone, or email. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And tag us in your social media postings. So this is the email address, algoestocollege at alabamapossible.org. Phone number 334-316-6155 and visit our website, alabamagoestocollege.org. So thank you all again for participating, and uh, we hope you have a fabulous um, Alabama College Application Week. Make sure you take lots of pictures and post, uh, do a lot of uh, social media postings and tag us on those postings. Thank you so much.